Here we are at 230 Alexander Circle. Um, it's the front of the house here. You can see it does have that nice little uh, slope uh, pitch on the roof. Um, and we will take a little pan of the street view. These are the houses across the way. And you can see this house across the street that's getting painted. Our garage with a bonus above it. You see the walkway. And here we are, we're going to walk into the front foyer area. Um, as you can see off to the left, you're going to have um, kind of a formal sitting area with a fireplace. Um, and then that will be uh, the formal dining room off to the side with the wainscoting. And we've also got what looks like three piece crown mold um, pretty much throughout the downstairs as well uh, with the two inch Venetian blinds. So you can see it's a really nice open floor plan. Uh, hardwoods throughout the downstairs, uh, except for in the back, uh, right back there is a sunroom that's actually got a stone uh, floor that's, uh, not a stone, but brick, excuse me. Um, so, but nice big open uh, floor plan for entertaining. So, here you've got, uh, basically this is the, uh, two ways you can get into the downstairs master. There's a master up and down, um, right here, you, uh, as you can see, you got uh, guest bathroom or a half bath right here. And you've got a nice uh, laundry room uh, with a uh, utility sink uh, with the cabinets above um, with tile floor. And then it goes into the master bathroom there. So you have two ways to get in or out of the master. Um, here's the garage, just want to point out that. It's got a side door area. Looks like it's got um, a sprinkler system with a storage room here and uh, there's your hot water heater. And you have a coat closet right here as well. Let's see. Okay, no. so right there you've got formal dining room, kitchen is right there, and then you've got the living room area here. And you put your fireplace or TV set above the fireplace if you wanted to, and this would be your master uh, off of the living room area. So, the little pan. These French doors, it goes out to a nice sunroom. Uh, you can use it for an office. And it has more French doors that go into the kitchen area. So you've got this nice, a lot of uh, good natural light. And it does look like a crown mold throughout the downstairs. Uh, three centimeter granite countertops, uh, stainless steel appliances. I uh, don't know if the fridge stays or not, but that's something that um, you could ask for. Uh, I know you guys, can, it's pretty important as far as cooking goes. So, uh, it is a smooth, smooth top. I uh, don't know the brand of it, but that's, oh, it's a GE profile. Uh, I don't know if this is vented out or not. No, the, uh, the hood is not vented out. So that's just something to keep in mind, but you could run a vent out the uh, side of the house if need be. And it's 
got the hardwood floors in here as well. So we got just a little recap. And when it goes to the master, which is right through here. And here you got the three inch crown wall. Um, larger windows, so there's a six foot windows, the higher ceilings as well, which is nice. And hardwoods as well in here. And then French doors that go into the master bathroom. Um, you've got uh, his closet, which is right here in the bedroom itself, uh, with the hardwood floors. And if you go into the master, you got travertine, um, 16 inch tile with the glass block. Um, there was some damage done apparently to the roof. The roof had a couple of roof leaks with the storm, with all the rain that we've had recently. Uh, and the homeowner does plan to get that repaired. Um, that happened actually in the dining room as well. So you've got a nice big jacuzzi tub with a Roman faucet um, with a separate sh uh, shower off to the side, which has a seamless uh, glass door right here. Um, it is a fiberglass uh, base on the tub or a shower and then you got the toilet closet off to the side and as you can see um just a little pan so see when you walk through now you're back here into the laundry room area and that's where we walk out into the foyer area where the main where the um the, di the formal dining room was uh where we were a minute ago uh, and this closet in the bathroom is actually where for um it's uh, the, her closet, I guess you'd say, well, the, his closet could be out there in the master bedroom itself. Take a look outside. The backyard. And this is the backyard. Um, the patio area. Um, that's at the brick wall. For privacy. And that's pretty private. You got so yeah, that's a nice side side area over here. A little place to sit down. New park style backyard. This looks like it may have been an addition at some point. It's got hardy plant siding on it, but it's kind of hard to tell. So, backyard's not overly huge, but it's nice. And there's the irrigation, as you can see, like right there. Yeah, it's sprinklers, uh, it looks like it goes in the front and the back. Um, yeah, some rose bushes back in there as well. Stairs, you've got bonus room facing forward right here. If you make a left, you got uh, another bedroom. So, this would be the second bedroom we've gone into. So, you got the two windows, um, his and her closet on the side. There's a crown wall. Uh, the ceiling height is a little lower. I believe it's, a, I think it's eight foot ceilings uh, in this section of the home. So, hardwoods as well. You can see it's a really wide hallway, so moving furniture in and out would be pretty pretty easy. Here is the the master or the the bonus room, uh, which was that they were probably using as a playroom. Uh, I'm just assuming. So it's pretty good size. 
Now, if you walk down the hall, you've got, um, here's a full, full bath. It's got two doors. So you've got a door right back in here. Uh, that's so you can have access from the two bedrooms. There's two bedrooms right over here. So you've got a bedroom and a bedroom, and that way you've got um, access to the bathroom from either side. So here's bedroom number three. Um, this is the front dormers that we saw. So you got those areas. You can put a desk or something um, back in there. Um, all the rooms have crown, like I said before. Um, it does look like there's an intercom system. Hardwood floors. Right. And here would be the last and uh, final bedroom. And it looks like this was the kids' room. And hardwoods in here as well. So, and I believe this is a really big storage area. Yeah, the hall here. So if you look in here, you got a ton of storage space up here, which is great for, um, actually it looks like there might be even more because you got a ladder <laughs> that goes up. So it looks like you probably have more up there if you need more uh, storage space. So uh, it's got the plywood floor up here. So, and there's another door at the end of the hall and it's got storage space in there. So definitely not lacking any storage space at all. Here's inside this bathroom, we've got uh, 12 inch tile floors, um, fiberglass shower insert with a single vanity. So, anyways, well that concludes the tour and uh, let me know if you have any questions. All right, signing out.